All right, today we're going to look at moving some of this dirt back into the hole and uh, see if we can tidy up the area so we can maybe start measuring up for uh, checking out the heights for our garden shed. Alright, let's have a look at this area first. We've got a real dog's breakfast going on here. We've got some big ruts here. We've got a ah, filled in hole. Over here, we've got leftover dirt up here. And we still got to get rid of our tree down there. So I'm going to try and, try and push a lot of this stuff in. It's going to be, it's pretty, it's pretty hard and hard and crusty so we'll see what we can do. Um, I'll go and get me mower organised. I've got um, a blade that I put on the front of that. Okay we've got a cox mower here. I've got a bulldozer blade here. Our blade's on now. Oh, we'll have a look and see how it's attached up. Now we've got our main pivot points here and on the other side. These, these are from the main arms that come down. We have, we've got two plates here with the bushes and that's our, our pivot on the front of the mower. And we've got a bit of a spring here that just takes a little bit of the weight off. We've got our handle that we use here. When we pull back on the handle, we've got a lifting action which gets it up out of the way. And when, obviously when we push forward, our digging action it all looks pretty good. It's not highly technical or anything, but you know, it does the job. You know, here comes Laney. Oh, there goes Laney. Right, okay, it's not that interesting. All right. Oh, my dozer isn't doing too bad here. We've got a um, pretty smooth area there. And we've got it smoothed out over here. We started, started shifting some dirt here in our hole. It started to fill in. All right, there we have it. Flat starting point. We've got it cleared out, so it's not so much of a mess. I'm going to start chopping this fella up. It's laying on the ground and it'll probably pinch my, my saw so I'm probably going to get go and get one of my car jacks and jack it up. If this ends up in the air and I can just saw straight through it. Just a quick look at the uh, chainsaw I'm going to use. It's only a little fella. Man, yeah, it does the job. It's a hundred bucks at the hardware store. Anyway, let's have a look at chopping this tree up. Okay, now, this is what I was talking about. Got the jack under there. Now, I've got some safety logs here and there for if this thing wants to go. I'll take this out now, I'm gonna trip on it. I've pretty much gone right up to the end of the log there. Got all that chopped up now. And I've just started cutting the end off here. What I've been doing is going down into it and then cutting across that now what I did find 
because there's a massive hole in here, it's full of dirt. You can see over this side here. I've got snakes around my area here, so I filled this up full of dirt a couple of years ago because there was a big hole in here. So I'm glad I did because that's where the snakes would have been living if I hadn't have done it. So I'll move these out of the way, get the dozer on there, push that bit of dirt up into the hole. We're all finished up for today. Got all that tidied up. Got all that wood tied up and stacked away. Oh, there's another two push up of this dirt into the hole. And now the hole's pretty much, pretty much filled up. I've had a bit of a look at the level. If I get a little bit of dirt here, that should be pretty level. So we'll do that on another episode. But if you don't want to miss out on any of the DN engineering adventures that I'm having here, uh, just click the subscribe. See you next video.